Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today I'd like to start a new playthrough of my time at Porsche. Now I know this game's been out for over a year but over Christmas it was given away free by Epic Games which is where I picked the game up and I started to play it and I thought this is a really cute sweet game and it, I think it would be a great addition to the channel. So. In the comments below, let me know if it's something you'd like me to continue playing and you'd like to see a full playthrough for, and let's have fun with the game. So we're here on the character creation screen, so you can be a boy or a girl. Of course I'm going to be a girl, because it just matches my voice. So we have various choices, I think, of different... Oh yeah, there's quite a lot of customization look here. So let's start with the hair. Now can we turn around? How do we turn... And that's a reset button. What's this? A randomize. Oh, let's see. Let's just give it a quick couple of randomizers and see what it comes up with. So you've got face paint and stuff as well. I don't think we'll be going for face paint, to be honest. So let's start with hair then, shall we? So let's see. What have we got? Oh, you can change the length as well. Okay, cool. Can we turn? Oh yes, we can turn. So the, the hair length, that you can go up and down. So yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of options here. Right, so, oh, you can do, yeah, you can make a many colour you want, by the looks of it, so... Uh, interesting. Oh, there's quite a lot of option there, then, isn't there? So I think we might want to go for something in the orangey-reddish range, maybe, if I can find... Can we, like... Ah, yes, we can. We can. How does that look? There might be a little, a little bright on the eyes for the. Uh, I want it to be something that doesn't look too uh, crazy on the eyes on the screen as well. So now I believe there is a barber shop, so we could always change it later if we're not happy with it. So we've got lots of different hair. Oh yes, look, we've got quite a lot of different hairstyles. Oh. God, or does it just keep cycling back? So that was in her eyes. That's not going to be good for building, is it? Because building is a big thing in this game. So we want it to be something that looks cute but practical. That is quite cute and quite practical. Short would always be very, very practical. How about that's quite cute? certainly doesn't look practical for, <laughs> for the job but it is kind of cool all right so there's a lot of awful lot of choices here so which should we go for should we go for the crazy hair oh i kind of like the crazy hair to be honest i kind of like the crazy hair i think we might go for that all right so face all oh, right I think, yeah. I don't want the um, we've got markings on her cheeks. I'm not I think we need to make sure we uh, sort it out. So you can go for lots of so you've got round faces, more angular faces. They're very like cutesy anime style characters, aren't they? I kinda like that style. The heads are so big that it's totally impractical for the bodies, of course. You you can see that I just wouldn't work in real life. <laughs> so we can change your eyebrow position. Oh no, we don't want to write up in her forehead. That's crazy. You can't actually really see the uh, the eyebrows in this one, can we? Let's make them a little bit narrower. Oh, you can make, make the eyes bigger. Oh yeah, let's make the eyes a little bit bigger. <laughs> I like the big eyes. I think that's quite funny. Right, so eye space. Can we make them a little bit closer together? Because it looks like they're a little bit wide out there. Uh, what colour shall we make them? Shall we make them like, oh, do you know what, I think, I'm, I think I want to go, we could either go blue or we could go green. I'm tempted to go in the green. Can we make them quite, oh. So we've got lower face, so you can change. You can change a lot of things, can't you? Can we get to change the chin? Make it a little 
a bit rounder. Yeah. See, maybe a bit shorter. There. See, you make her a little bit rounder in the face. Make her cutesy. And then you've got this. Is, so this is the, the markers on the face, by the way. So, so we, I don't really want those on at all. So we're going to just turn those off. Now, what are we going to call her? Um, so we could go for the kitty side or we could go for the happy gamer side. So I, do you know what? I think we're going to call her happy. Because we're hoping that this will be a happy, fun playthrough. So that's what we're going to go for. Oh, now we get to choose our birthday. Okay, so let's take a look. So month one, year one, spring month two year one summer right so you have a one month long season so each month is a full season so we can go cycle all the way through now uh where would we like our birthday do you know what i'm going to choose near the end of the first year so i'm going to don't want it to be near the events look so we've got like winter solstice celebration here snowball battle here so i think we want it near the beginning of the month but i don't want it on the first day of the month um in fact let's make it a a weekend because i think we do commissions for the job during the week so the weekend would be a good time for a birthday so i think we'll choose the first saturday of the winter month so we've got a bit of time to get into the game before we get to the birthday there we go, and there we're going into the game, so let's see how it begins, shall we? So it's such a cute art style, I really like the sheets and things that it goes. So what they've got to tell us, Django's Roundtable Restaurant has delicious food every day, good for restoring some health. So that's good to know, so if you're short of food, you can always go to the restaurant to grab some. And the restaurant's probably going to be a nice, good meet-up social place, isn't it? the characters in the game so if you're looking for someone that could probably be a good place to go at like meal times if there are set meal times oh boat so are we going to an island we're i think we are aren't we Porsche. whoa that looks beautiful what are you gonna do there ruin diving Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Wow, well, athletic. Good luck to you. Thanks. That was a super jump off the ship, wasn't it? No hesitation whatsoever. So we are a gung ho young character here that just does whatever they feel like. So, <laughs> but look at that. It's just such a cute cool vibe isn't it i just think it'd be a nice game to have on a happy gamer channel so the whole point is enjoying gaming so let's try it out shall we presley hey happy hi presley hey the welcome commission you ah good to see you again hope you had a pleasant journey from bonarock right that's quite far yeah Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Ah, so Presley was an old friend of our father, a father who's probably an absentee father because we didn't know him, or he might be dead. We never know because we don't know the story yet. Oh, right, so here we've got the introductionary things. So we move and we can run and jump and auto run. And here we are. Your workshop. Oh, that's small and cute. This looks more like a barn. Seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homey. It's gonna need some work. That's probably what now they then, mean. Here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Oh, now that suggests that he might still be alive. Or this is a executor's will thing. I don't know, but I don't know enough about the story to know what happened to her dad. So let's read the letter and find out. 
Dear Happy, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. Right, so he's alive, so we know that he's a traveller then. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then, I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I've left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy. Pa. Hmm. So he's made some sort of provision to make himself feel better. He's not really interested in being a dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get away from that. Let's Here's have the fun. workshop handbook of your pa's. Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. Right, so we have been given at least a plot of land and somewhere to rest our heads so we can start to make our own life. So we're going to have to work hard to make our life great. But it does look like a really nice place to set up. So that's yeah, something. It's given us something. So let's see. The game wants us to come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located in Peach Plaza. You can't miss it. So there's the instructions for what we need to do tomorrow. So... Maybe we have a quick look around today. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Sounds about right. That's going to be our tutorial mode, I Got imagine. It. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Hmm. I hope there's a bed Bye, then. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Time to settle in. Oh no, not time to settle in, time to sleep. Right, so day two, month one, year one. So this is the first chance we get to look at where we are. Oh, we've got, got a bed, that's nice. Oh, so Presley did make sure we got some bedding and a nice bed to lay in. So we need to press E to wake up. Ow, my oh, no, head we'll hurts. Go. I didn't sleep well at all from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Oh dear. So that means our house is falling down around our ears, so we better take a quick look, haven't we? Whoop. Right, we still had the auto run on from yesterday. Right, so we've got holes in the floor, which we need to fix, obviously, because she didn't sleep well. Use ten wood to fix the gap. Right, so we need to... Oh, there's more holes. Let's see how much we need. So twenty to fix that, so that's thirty in total so far. And there's another hole here. Another three, so that's thirty-three. And another one here, so that's 36. I think we need 36 wood then to fix it. Yeah, so we need 36 wood to fix the floor. At least the roof seems to be in one piece. Uh, the walls do look a little bit patched up, but uh, right, so we need 36 wood to fix our floor. Let's take a look at the little bit of land we've got outside and then try and figure out where the Commerce Guild is, shall we? Right, glowing objects are most likely collectible resources. Press E. Press escape to see help. Let's try that. Press escape to see help. Right, so help is on the menu here. And press escape again to come out of that. Right, so, oh, it didn't, uh, oh, because I didn't actually click help. Basic tutorial for move. Oh, right, so it gives you all the controls if you press help. Right, okay. The mission target is marked. Oh, right, hang on. So, marked in the map. Mission target. Right, so the Commerce Guild is over here. So, we're here. The, oh, here you go. Porsche Harbour. So, that's where we came in yesterday. Our home is here. And everything's nicely marked on the map, so that's good. Commerce Guild. Go to the Commerce Guild. So, we just need to go up the road into the... And here, this is flashing. Go to the Commerce Guild. A new day. Go to the Commerce Guild to meet Presley. Right, so there we go. We're getting an idea of what things are. So let's have a quick look. We've got a assembly station. Oh, so is this, this Daddy's Handbook? Right. Welcome to my workshop handbook's first page. I'm going to try and write down all the knowledge that I'm going to gain as I tackle this workshop business. Since I'm probably the only one who's going to read this. Hello to me, handsome guy. Ha ha. So here we go. So this is from her dad. Lesson one is the most important. I just had the prez. Oh dear, Presley, the prez. 
helped me construct my assembly station. Now I'm going to write down the steps to using it properly. 1. Go up to the assembly station podium. 2. Open up this handbook and select a diagram. 3. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing the different parts. 4. To install a part, I need to have the part in my hands. I'll walk up to the framework and the highlighted location and press the left mouse button to place it. I can cancel the assembly process anytime at the podium. All the used items will go directly into my inventory or sit on the ground nearby if my inventory is full. When I finish the assembly, I can put the item into my inventory. Then it's payday! Yay! Okay, and we, oh, we do have some uh, some patterns already. So yes, yeah, so Dad did say he'd left his book. So we do have a few things that we can build already. Right, so what else do we have? We have, press E, work table level one. Oh, look, we can make weapons. Look, we've got a sword. So for a sword, we'd need wood and hardwood. Okay, axe. Oh, axe, simple axe. We need wood and stone. Pickaxe, wood and stone again. Okay. Right, so simple axe, it's handy for cutting down bushes and small trees. Pickaxe, it's light but can only crack small stones. Right, so to do trees we need an axe, to do stones we need a pickaxe. So it's a very traditional way of doing it. Basic fishing rod. Basic fishing rod for beginners, easy to make but hard to catch that big one. Cast when close to a fishing spot. So we can go fishing. We can make tools. What's that? We can make furniture, parts. What's that? Oh, mission. Okay, so we're getting an idea. Oh, for sale. We've got a for sale sign here. So let's have a look at that. You need 1,500 golds to buy this land. You do not have enough. So we can expand our land as well. Quite a lot of trees here. So we've actually got a, quite a small plot of land to start with. A tiny house, but we can actually start things, can't we? Right. So. Let's take a look at this. We've got mail in our mailbox. Everything's E for actioning them. From the Porsche Times. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street, the Porsche Times. Like that it's free, that sounds absolutely awesome. So that gives us any info we need, I guess, for around town. So what's the prompt now? Glowing objects are most likely collectible resources. Hang on, is that a chest? Oh, yeah, Eve opened. Oh, that was very convenient. I going to put it really close to us. That's to make sure that we get something. Oh, worn gloves. Uh, right, hang on. How do I... So if I put Eben for the map. Right, so we've got skill points. We've got an inventory. Ah, here we go glove. Worn gloves. Gloves that have seen its days in the sun can still do some damage. Attack plus 5. Melee critical damage plus 100%. Used to attack. Alright, so we've got fighting abilities as well in the game. Right, okay. So, what we got now? So, lock on centre camera queue. So, if I press no queue. Dodge roll. Attack. Ah, I've got lots of things. Okay. Glowing objects are resources. That looks like it's growing. Glowing. So can we pick that up? Good. Right. So every time we use something that pops up in the screen, it allows us to... Uh, it takes off the instructions. Ooh. Hello. Who are you? And you are... Lee, Church of the Light. The girl the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Church of the Light. Okay. Have you ever yeah. heard of the story about the dancing robot? This happened several years ago in Ethia. A robot was found in the ruins and brought into town. The robot had only one leg, so it was balancing with its four arms. That's why it was called the dancing robot. Anyway. It later shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. It's a sad story. Yes, indeed, it is a very sad story, Minister Lee. So. Oh, 
Oh, hi there. No. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's, uh... Oh, wait. Porsche Commerce Guild. There we go. Look, the Porsche Commerce Guild. That's where Prez told us to go. So let's go inside. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Uh, shall we be honest? Hang in there. I didn't get Let to sleep because there's holes the in our place. Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Well, that's probably good to know because now we're going then, to be working with them. Let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. Oh, we saw those on the You uh, need to have work wood table, and stones they? to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the total tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your pa's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. It does, because we just checked it out, actually. So we do know that. Hi there! I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> uh, Antoine, a beautiful flower. He's... Oh, Shue, sweet. My idol. Every time I think of him, my heart flutters. Ooh, I think someone's in love. Right, so there's a, an exclamation mark here. That's usually quests. The civil court need rope. Can we take these? Copper bars. Can we take these? Only a registered workshop owner can take a commerce skill commission. So once we get our registration thing from Presley, we can get work from this board. You can craft the items on your work table in your yard. Cool. Right, so we need to go and get some resources then, don't we? We need a load of wood. We need um, 36, I think, to fix our house. And then I think we also needed some to make the tools that we need so we need to go around picking things up we haven't got tools yet so I think all we can do is pick up the glowy stuff on the floor so if we run around and see what we can find on the floor and see if we can make our tools then maybe we can hit some of these rocks and chop down some of these bigger trees so we need enough stuff I don't know how many bits I need to make my uh, pickaxe and my tools. I didn't check. I checked how much we needed to fix the house. I didn't check how much we needed to make the tools. Let's just run a little bit further up and see what we can find. And then we'll go back and see if we've got enough. There's something glowing there. Yeah. It's kind of hidden a little bit in the grass, but we seem to be getting a lot more rock than we are tree branches. It's quite a few rocks there all together, isn't there? That might be a good place to start when we've got a pickaxe. Ooh, kick the tree. We can kick the tree. Oh, we got experience for kicking at a tree. That's cool. Alright, so let's see. We need more wood on the floor, don't we? So let's see where we can get. I'm not seeing a lot of wood on the floor. Are we going to have to run back? Shall we run back? And try the opposite direction because I'm not seeing a lot up here. So maybe we've gone further than they're expecting us to on our first day. Right, so we seem to have some endurance thing going on here. Like, so that circle when it's full, you can run fast. And as you run fast, it slowly goes down and then it refills as you stop. Oh, there's a little bit there right, I missed. Right, so let's keep going and see what else we can find. Any more wood? I wonder if that's enough. There's something else sparkling there. Let's just grab this one and then let's go back into our building, shall we? Right, so let's see if we can craft the tools that, that we need. So the tools is this one. Um, I think we'll go for the wooden one, wood one first because we seem to be having more trouble finding that. So 
Well, that's very simplistic then. We just click on the buttons and it leads us through the crafting. So that's nice. It's a very simple way of doing the crafting and it's very self-explanatory. I really like that. So we can make both of those. So I think now what we can do is go back to... So yes, yeah, so the builder's test requires a simple axe, which we've got, and a pickaxe, which we've got. So I think we can go back and uh, see... Ooh, who's this? Toady. Hey, Hello, Toady. fisherman. You're the new builder, right? It's always nice to have more builders. Yeah, so we're meeting a few people, so if we just chat to them, some great we keep saying today. met them, I so highly recommend the golden salmon. Fresh and delicious. Ooh, he really likes golden salmon. So, does that mean golden salmon's a good one to start fishing with, Toadie? We have seen that we can make a fishing rod if we can... Hello! Ooh. Ooh, she's running. Hello! Hey there! Emily. I'm Emily, your next-door neighbour. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. Sunny farm girl. So we should... She sounds like she's going to be a very happy person to Greetings. meet. Greetings! Here comes the springtime. Can you smell it? The smell of recovery, rebirth, and rejuvenation. Oh yeah, she sounds terribly upbeat. She's the sort of person we want as our friend. Right, so let's go back and talk to Presley. Oh look, there's a lot of people here now with the church people. Do you know what? I'm not going to talk to everybody right now. I'm going to make sure I turn in this quest to Presley. Hello Presley. Oh gosh, it's 12 o'clock already. So the days go quite quick. Look, we're already at 12.25. Is it? Oh, you're still here. Good. It's oh, not on Lent. Excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test. You are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Well, I'm really glad he's letting us keep the tools because we would have had to make more. I think we do have enough ingredients, but I'm really glad we get to keep them. We don't. So he wants us to build a stone furnace and we'll need to use our assembly station. Okay. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. <laughs> so he's now telling us to go and look at the assembly station. We already did that because we, we wanted to see what we had. We investigated before we came to see you, Presley, so we know it's there. And he did have quite a few um, patterns, didn't he, for making things. Hello. Oh, who might you be? Oh, nurse, Dr. Zhu's assistant. Oh, hang on, Dr. Zhu, that's who Anton likes, isn't it? We've already discovered that much. Dr. Zhu is a great doctor. I'm studying under him to learn everything I can. Then hopefully, open my own clinic one day. Ah, oh, so she's a nurse who wants to become a doctor, so... See, we're getting lots of information about people already, and we haven't even been here a full day. We're only about noon on our first day. Stand in front of the assembly station podium to open the workshop handbook and choose a diagram. Ta da! Oh, I like the fact that it leads you through, right? So we need to make. Hang on, what we've got here? Workshop handbook. Okay. Items cat. Ooh! Ah, oh, right, so. Items catalog. Oh, so they're all the things we can make on the work table, aren't they? Oh gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, let's not get in, let's not get him on it. Right, so stone furnace. This is what he said, isn't it? Stone furnace. All right, so we click where it's got a little eyeglass to bring it up. Stone furnace. This thing gets really hot, so handle it with caution. Stones can be found anywhere. Craft with a work table. So we want 10 stone to make stone stools. Pickaxe can be used to break down fairly sized rocks. I ah, see, we hope that, any, any tree will give wood. The basic furnace can smelt simple ore. For better ore, I'll need a better furnace. So we need 10 wood and 10 stone. And we make the stone into a stone stool to make it right. So let's, so build. Assembly tutorial. With relevant part equipped, aim at the silhouette of the construct, then press left mouse or A or X to place it. Well, we're, we'll be left mouse because we're on a computer. The assembly station console can be used to view the material requirements or cancel the construction. We looked at that. Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near the construct silhouette, then pressing right mouse button or R2. With all parts in place, press the E 
key or AX to pick up the item. Okay, now the way they described it made it sound much more complex than I'm sure it is. Right, so we need, what is it, 10? How much wood have we got? We haven't got enough wood. So we need to, where did we, where have we got our axe? We've got our axe here. So if we need, can we chop down this little tree that's in our, oh. Ah, right, so if you position yourself so you can see the blue thing, we can then take it off. Right, if we've got any more inside our land, no we haven't. Right, can we, can we just chop everything down around us? Yes, right, so you move close enough to it for the blue bar to come up and then you can attack it with your equipped weapon and then you can pick stuff up. Right, we need a lot of wood because we need like 36 to do repairs on, on the inside of our house and then we need 10 for our, um, so we need at least, 50 wood probably don't we if we can get more that would be better and so we need at least 50 and we're picking up other stuff as well so what's that plant fiber so what do these little bushes give us then oh tree sap what that's for what do the little bushes give us uh, plant fiber for the little bushes i'm sure that plant fiber is going to be really useful then since we can get a lot of it very quickly at the beginning here so let's get a few more of these little trees just a couple more of these little trees and let's see if we can get um, this furnace made for Presley see if we can get as our license to be able to do some jobs for people oh no I'm out of oh not enough stamina you that could be a problem did we get enough stuff to be able to do our, uh, right, so we need wood, so the wood is in slot 3, so if we walk up with the wood, oh yeah, there you go, so place wood, wood times 10, press the mouse button to put that down, okay, and then we need a stone stool, ah, look, construction assembly building is there, look there, so there we go, we've got enough to do that actually, so we want one stone stool, and then we need to be able to see that don't we so if we get into here we want the stone stool on our action bar which slots that in that's in number four so we want to go up to that and use that and then we can pick it up with E AK stone furnace do I have to take that to Presley oh I'm gone I don't want to be seen carrying that do we right so let's run back to Presley Hopefully you'll let us keep that as well, because uh, that feels like a very heavy thing to carry over here. Hello, who Welcome are you? Welcome to town, new builder. Oh, the mayor. I'm Gail, mayor of this wonderful city. If you have any issues or concerns, just drop right on by. Oh, very sweet. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The official welcoming committee there, the mayor's come to say hello, new builder. Oh, there's Presley. That's nice that it is. Very easy to find him here then, so I think that that's going to be part Great of the job. job. He's always here. You pass. Thank you. This is your builder license. Yay! Congratulations. We got a building now license. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. We just met the mayor. Come back and talk with me after you register. Okay, let's go find the mayor again then. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I need to see you now. We just met him two seconds ago. There he is. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Can welcome, I register welcome. my workshop, please? You must be the new builder. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Oh, it's very sweet I'm here to you. register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Ooh, so what are we going to call it? Do you know what? We are going to call it after the channel, of course. We're going to call it... Happy Gamer! Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, thank you. Build a license. Happy Gamer, build a happy. Register date, day two, month one, year one, at the city of Porsche. Oh, that's so sweet. Nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank you, Mr. Thank Mayor. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meet once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. 
<laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. So, back to Presley. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board, over there. Right, so does that mean I can get work commissions every day then? Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Ooh. There are other workshops in Porsche? Competition. Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry, if you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Hmm. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay, so it's telling us the different sources of our income. So that's quite a lot of info all at once, but we'll, I think we'll be fine. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Aww. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt. He's the owner of the current's number one workshop. Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press! I've got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? So, Higgins is the bad guy. He's our number one competition and he's not a very nice businessman. Though he does decent work, apparently. So, he's the bad guy. <laughs> and now, we're going to get a job from Arlo. Who looks a bit like a Wild West sheriff. Hello, Mr. Arlo. Who are you and what do you do? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Ooh, a bridge. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Haunted cave? Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Sounds like a big commission for a first commission. Ooh. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the Temple Tower. Ooh, mining? Mining. Okay, mining. Okie dokie, so... Can we take one of these now? Need five rope. I don't know if I could do that. Copper bars. Copper plates. That sounds like the easiest one, so let's take that one, the bars. And let's go see what we can set up, because I, we don't have any stamina left, and we probably don't have any money, because we haven't done anything yet. So, I don't think that, I mean, that probably means we can't get any food, so I think what we need to do is go back and see what we can do about fixing up our house and maybe putting this furnace thing down. Right, so where should we put this? So, slot four, where can we put this? Can we put this right in the, in the corner? So it's nicely out of the way. So, furniture can be turned when placed on the ground using the T button. Okay, so oh, we can pick it up like this so we can play, turn it around using T. Okay, so uh, do you know what? I kind of liked it the way it was in the first place, so okay. Um, a placed item can be retrieved by swinging an axe at it or pressing and holding the designated button. Okay, yeah, we'll just figure that one out. So crafting is E. 
So what can we make? Oh, can we make anything? We can't make anything at the moment because we don't have any materials. So to make glass we need sand, to make s bricks we need stone, to make copper bars we need copper ore, to make bronze we need copper and tin, and to make charcoal we need wood. Hmm, okay. So I don't think we need to use that right at the moment, but what I do think we need to do is have a look at seeing if we can fix some of the inside here, because we have picked up some wood. I don't know if we've got enough to fix it all, though. Let's fix one little hole. Let's see if we can do the big hole, shall we? Yes, please, let's fix that. How much have we got left? Can we actually do all of the fixing? I hope so. There we go, let's fix that. And then one little hole left, so let's fix that. All the gaps have been fixed. I'm finally going to have a good night's sleep. That's excellent. Right, so do, what do we have in our inventory? Did we get a builder's license? Builder's license, workshop registration, certificate by portion, maximum stand number plus 20. When placed in your house, you will receive bonus attributes. Oh, okay. So we should put that in our house. And some of this inventory stuff we should probably put in here. And then just the things we are going to be fighting and stuff with here. So, right, so we can put this on the wall, can we? Right, so how do we put it on the wall? How do we put it on the wall? Oh, no, can't, we can't put it on the wall. Why can't we put it on the wall? Ah, I can put it on the wall. I can put it on the wall near my bed. Yeah, there's my builder licence. So there we go. So we have our builder licence. So let's have a look if we can build a bridge. We should be able to build the bridge because they wouldn't give us the, the quest surely if we couldn't. I don't think we can do it today though because we've got no stamina so I don't think we can do anything else. So, index. So what have we got? Furnace grinder, civil cutter, basic skyver, wooden bridgehead, wooden bridge. So this is what we want then, isn't it? Wooden bridge. So a wooden bridge body, we need bronze plates. We said copper or tin, that smelter can make that. And then for the bridgehead we need wood and copper. Right, put the body and the head together and voila, you get a really nice bridge. Collect all the following materials and process in the grinder. To make a oh, grinder, we're going to need a grinder. The bigger the tree, the harder it's wood. So we need hardwood, so we need a bigger tree. We need a grinder. So we smelt the bar with the... So smelt, smelt the copper ore with a furnace to make the copper bar. Collect all the following materials and process in a grinder. So we make the bar in the furnace and then we use a grinder to make the pipe. And the hardwood comes from a bigger tree and we make hardwood planks with a civil cutter. So we're going to need a grinder and a civil cutter before we can make that. So that's a civil cutter. We need copper again and stone. And a grinder, we need stone and copper again. So yeah, we are going to have to do the ruin diving that the mayor was talking about. So that, I think, means that we now can't do anything else today. That is everything that we can do today. So let's go stand in front of our new workshop and our new piece of land. And we will try and get our decent little picky for our start of our series so I hope that you've enjoyed the first episode of our playthrough and that this is something that you will enjoy watching so let me know in the comments if this is one you'd like to see lots more of for our playthrough and I hope you've enjoyed today's episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one from soft kitty 99 goodbye and happy gaming me